sweaty. Watch out. I'm right there with you. And I'm going to be sweaty in a sec. It, is, it feels like summer out there. Yes, I'm like, oh, no, I'm not ready. The temperature ain't trying to drop one bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not happening. Yeah, until the sun goes down. <laughs> the ceremony will be over then. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do not depend on your own understanding. 
Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take.
Dean was one of the founders of the Millington Central High School debate team. They've been competing for two years, and he helped the team earn fourth place in the Memphis Urban Area Championship. Please welcome Mr. Dean Cross. There's been a, a lot of memorable and impactful moments in that building right over there. But there was one moment in particular, I think, that really symbolizes the time spent here for all of us. It was in August of 2018, and the start of my first semester of dual enrollment English. While there was a multitude of assignments in this class, the one that really affected me the most wasn't a college paper or literature analysis. It was a simple assignment on the surface. It was called, You in a Bag. As Catherine Watkins stated, you just choose three items that best symbolize you and what you're about. I think I learned more doing this assignment than anything else I did my entire senior year. I learned about myself, what drives me, and what I want out of life. I chose a Pokemon card for my inner child. I hope to never lose my confidence to stay playful when everyone tells me to grow up. I chose a ghost stone, a piece from a really weird, unknown, and challenging Chinese board game. It's a game that few take time to learn or appreciate, but one that is also one of the most rewarding I've ever played. It mimics life in a way, because life can be weird, unknown, challenging, slow or fast moving, but it's truly rewarding when you first really live. I felt that was me because as fast as things have changed here, I still have room to learn about myself as I grow and mature. Lastly, I chose a quarter. This was to show that I'm a complex being with more than one side. Many students hearing this may have thought of me as a loud, weird, naive, hyper person, but I think I've proven that there's more to me than meets the eye. The reaction of underclassmen when I told them I was salutatorian was priceless. I'll never forget their response. Hold up, the homeless looking weirdo who runs around the hallway? You're a salutatorian? Oh my! So why does this assignment represent the class of 2019? The first is simple. Picking three items allows you to focus on three positive values that can help you guide where you were lost. It also gave students a chance to examine themselves. This assignment allowed us to look at who we are. It proves nobody knows you like you know yourself. Good evening. Raquel Koresh is the proud son of Mark and Diane Houston and the late Howard Koresh. Raquel has a twin brother, Dean Koresh. He went to Washington Elementary School, Marshall Middle, Middle Milliton Middle, and Steelman Valley Junior High School. His goal in life is to be an officer in the United States Navy. Through our high school, he's taken honors and AP classes, such as honors geometry, honors English 9, AP US history, AP human geography, AP English language composition, AP calculus, AP US government, AP macroeconomics. And he's already earned three college AP credits. His extracurricular activities include NJROTC, drill team and color art, the college bowl where he serves as a captain, and model UN where he served as a chairman. His cumulative GPA is 4.361. 4.361. Rockwell will be attending the University of Memphis this fall on a full paid NROTC scholarship. I would like to introduce to you, to the class of 2019, the valedictorian Rockwell Karish. So, I think it's good to start tonight off with a first, so I think I'm going to talk about my first, time, first day here. So, the first day here, it started off pretty simple, I just went to classes. Um, but then I left the main building, took a walk down this road, and walked into a, a rickety little structure all the way over there. When I walked in, there were three men, varying height and varying baldness, glaring at us from across the room. I didn't know who they were, but it looked like they hated us. We walked in. And student took charge, lined us up against the back wall, and took roll. They sat us down, and the shortest one, and the baldest, stood up and looked at us and said, I'm not here to be your friend. Lieutenant Commander Robert Galloway 
may not have been, become my friend, but he's the largest inspiration in my life. I haven't been able to do this alone. Incredible teachers and staff taught me about life, adulthood, and the world. I'd like to thank Commander, Captain, Senior Chief, Master Chief, and a Chief, alongside my other teachers such as Dr. Beards, Mr. Bryan, Ms. Moore, Dr. Smith, Ms. Watkins, and many more. We also have an incredible staff at our institution. We have multiple doctors and a cellular retired one of the 16 force nationals in the entire United States Navy. We have been given the ability to learn so much, and we can take that knowledge forward to college, the workforce, or the military. And it is extremely important that we make the most of what we've been given. My advice to the class of 2019 is keep the energy up in college, in the military, or in the workforce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.